say when we're deploying or where or why. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Two incoming Reaper forces. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in terrain. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. Do I know you? I am Avina, a fully interactive virtual intelligence. You're a VI? Yes. I provide guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout the Citadel. The human specialist medical officer in charge is Dr. Michel. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. CERTA is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Thank you for coming to CERTA. How can we help you?
Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Serta is a non-profit organization Thank you for dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Made me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. I better get back to it. See you soon. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Scan the cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Please tell the privacy of the whole of the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. 
I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. We might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, 
What does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Mm. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard, Kalisa Bint seen in Aljalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. You may be a violent thug, but I'm glad you're on our side. Ilium is under attack, although the Asari colony is across the galaxy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24.
Ayara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, ...attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. 
We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake.
Come on, Doc. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. Not worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. I guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. You did better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stopped before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Meeting with the Council. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later. There's so much left to do. 
I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? is available on the private messages terminal. How's your new assignment working out, Alars? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. 
I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <clears throat> I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <sighs> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> you already know my service record. <sighs> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <sighs> well... <sighs> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? 
I do. You shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. <laughs>